Hi, this is Marina. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some of the watercolor palettes that I use um, in my day-to-day -day paintings. So I'm going to start with my original palette. This is a De La Rowney palette. Uh, I believe they still make them, actually. I still see these around. These are full pans of paints. Um, these are certainly student grade um, paints. Um, they're, this is a very portable uh, palette. Um, the one nice feature about this palette, if I can just do it here, is the lid is actually removable. If I can get it off here. There we go. So you can actually separate your, your paints from the mixing area. Uh, also makes for easy cleaning, so it's much easier to clean this when the paints aren't attached and then we can just reassemble everything at the end of the painting session. So then I'm going to move on to my other small palette like that. This one is also a De La Rowney palette. This one um, actually was given to me by a relative. Uh, it's very similar paints uh, as the other palette. In fact, I think that the colors are almost identical. I just want to show you here. So slightly different arrangement, but um, basically very, very similar colors. Um, the difference with this palette is that there are uh, tubes um, of, a, of a black and of a white. Um, palette came with a couple of paint, paint brushes and there is a mixing area, although this mixing area is not removable, uh, even though it's slightly larger. So those were the two palettes that I use um, primarily for art journaling. These are really just uh, cheap, um, cheap paints, so I don't mind, uh, you know, mixing the colors. Uh, sometimes they get a little bit muddied and, and such. I don't have to be really uh, careful with these. That's why I use them. And also because the art journal doesn't have to be light fast. So um, that's great. The one thing that irritates me about this palette actually is that while these little paints um, are removable, so I'm just going to show you here, they're kind of like a half pan. These are removable. They're actually not half pan in size. So this is a half pan and you can see it's just a slightly smaller. So um, I use these half pan containers for um, one of my other palettes that you'll see in a, in a moment and they're not interchangeable. They don't fit. So um, it's slightly annoying. So that's also the De La Rowney palette. So my next palette is actually a travel sized palette. This is an Alwyn Crawshaw. So uh, also by De La Rowney, um, Alwyn Crawshaw is a British watercolor artist and had a TV show in the United Kingdom as well as uh, some books. Um, this is a little travel palette and I'll show you here. Um, so this palette has a couple of mixing areas. It has an area for a sponge and then it has an area for six colors. Now these colors have been replaced. I really don't remember what the original colors were. Um, so these have the removable half pans and for each half pan, uh, this looks like it's original, it says cobalt blue, but for each uh, pan I have written on the color and these are interchangeable. So for my travel palette I have uh, two yellows, one in fact is a yellow ochre um, and then I have uh, a cadmium red and uh, alizarin crimson, uh, a hooker's green and a cobalt blue. So that pretty much gives me everything I need um, when I'm out and about and want to paint. So it's a great palette, uh, nice and portable, very similar to the um, uh, the mint tins that I see. I think they're Altoids um, that people make. Um, so very similar in size and it's nice and thin and portable. I use this with um, these uh, types of brushes that are basically um, travel brushes. Uh, that way it can be very, very portable for traveling. So my next palette is actually my full-sized palette and it is a Robert Elwood. So this is a rather large palette. It is a plastic. It is not a very thick plastic. Um, I've had this palette for, I 
think about three years or so. Um, it's holding up pretty well because it doesn't go outside of my studio. So this is the lid. There are four mixing areas which I actually never use. Um, so it is incredibly clean there. And then this is the inside of my palette. So um, this palette uh, is what I use all of the time. Um, you can see it's extremely messy. Um, often I don't bother cleaning it. I just use the paints that are already in here. Um, and I believe this takes, I'm just going to have a quick count here. Uh, I think it's 24 colors uh, for this palette, thereabouts. Um, this is, uh, has two large mixing areas here. And uh, as you can see, you basically just squeeze out the paint into the areas. What I've done with this particular palette is um, I'm going to tilt it up. Hopefully I don't have any wet paint in here. But as you'll see, when I tilt it up, um, I have written the names of the paints along the edge for reference. So that's my large uh, everyday palette. Um, and this is primarily full of uh, Windsor and Newton paints. Um, that is, for the most part, my preferred brand. Um, so th that's what I tend to gravitate towards. And then finally, I have my new studio palette. This is a very small um, palette. In fact, it's a plate. So this is a seven by seven inch plate. Um, it's a ceramic plate and I have moved towards using this instead of the big palette. This takes up a lot less space on my desk. Um, basically I squeeze out the paints that I use. Um, these are the same colors uh, as in my large palette, although uh, there are a few colors that I don't really use very much, so I haven't bothered squeezing them out onto the plate. Um, this plate I got at a Canadian retailer, The Bay and it was in the home um the home area and this plate was around six dollars so it was very inexpensive i actually prefer using this um i find that the paint doesn't uh pool um the problem with the plastic palettes is they seem to have some kind of coating on them which the the paint um tends to form but droplets and you can't really see the color spread out so uh, this is my new paint solution now this actually, this plate had a very uh, scratchy base. So as you'll see, I put some rubber feet on it so that it doesn't damage my desk when I move it around. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed looking at my paint palettes and that you learned something. Thanks for watching.